Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video we're going to talk about why small cameras rock and, in particular, the Panasonic GX9. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, small cameras, in particular the GX9. This video is gonna be focused around the GX9 in particular, why I think you know small cameras are becoming more and more popular. Because if you follow the channel, you'll know that I've got a Panasonic G9, I'm shooting on a Panasonic GH5 Mark II, I've also got a G85. Now that's a tiny camera in the grand scheme of things, but there's something about small cameras, the ability to pick it up, take it out there and quickly get great shots, particularly with you know good quality small cameras. And I won't lie to you, I have tried to do the Digicam thing, pocketable little tiny cameras and things like that. However, I just can't get into it. I need full control of my shots and my camera. This video, I've got you know three core points why small cameras rock, and in particular, the Panasonic GX9. Okay, the first thing for me, the GX9 draws inspiration. It's my inspiration camera. And I put that down to the fact, the look of the thing, it looks, you know, so retro and so cool. It is just yelling to be picked up all the time. Paired up with the right lens, it's just very, very inspiring. The overall look, look and aesthetic of the Panasonic GX9. But you know, in saying that, out of all my cameras, it is probably the hardest one to use. It's a bit fiddly. You gotta work for the shots. It's not as easy to use my Panasonic G9 camera or my GH5 Mark II. That thing is just so easy to use. Fiddliness of the buttons and the dials and the layouts and everything like that, it's all there, but you gotta do a little bit more menu diving, but that slows me down and that makes me compose better. So overall, number one, I'm picking this camera up more and more and more purely because it's just a cool looking thing and it is super fun to use and it's very inspiring. So let's get now into reason number two. Okay, the second reason why I'm drawing more and more towards the Panasonic GX9, if I wasn't booking pro jobs, if I didn't have this YouTube channel and stuff like that, I feel as though that I would get rid of all my bigger cameras and just focus my energy on smaller cameras. And that is because purely the size factor of them. They wanna be picked up, they're not as big and they're not as bulky. You're more likely to take it out with you more often. And you know, the overall size of the GX9, there's no red flags. What I mean by that is you can take it pretty much everywhere and anywhere and people aren't gonna sort of question you and what you're doing. You take a bigger mirrorless camera or an old school DSLR out there, people are gonna know that you're taking photos. And for me, I'm quite the introvert. I don't like standing out at all. So, you know, the tiny form factor of the Panasonic GX9 is really, really, that is a big thing for me. That's why I'm picking it up and taking it out, out there more and creating more images. And you know, when you finally find your lens and your focal length to pair up with the Panasonic GX9, it is one of the best EDC grab and go cameras that you can possibly get. And really, this is why small cameras really rock in general because of the size of them. You are gonna practice more, you're gonna shoot more, and in turn, you're gonna become a better photographer because you're picking up the camera more and you're getting out there. Okay, let's get into now the third reason why I'm loving the Panasonic GX9. Okay, third reason, results. The results from this camera are fantastic. In particular, the colors, there's something about the colors and this camera and its sensor, particularly paired up with any of the Panasonic Leica lenses. Um, you know, the colors are just amazing. Raw files, heaps of room to edit in Lightroom. You can really play around with the files enough. They're not too big, they're not too small. The raw files are fantastic. Not to mention the JPEGs out of the camera straight away are brilliant as well. Black and white images, oh, 
just fantastic. And it really is a camera that can handle all shooting situations, okay? From landscapes to portrait work, to product photography, to street photography, that's where this thing really shines out. It's a camera that can do absolutely everything. I feel as though that this camera, you know, it's a one lens camera. For me, I'm still on the quest for that one particular lens. I don't know what it is yet. I know I'm shooting a lot with the Panasonic Leica 12mm. I really think it's a camera that, you know, if you find your lens and you find your focal length, it's a camera that can really make you grow as a photographer. If you spend a good amount of time with any camera and any lens combo, one particular lens combo and one camera, you spend a good amount of time with that, you will see a style develop and a feel and look in your images. So for me, as I said, I'm still on a quest for my lens to pair up with this particular camera. I like this 12 mil, however, it's a bit bulky sometimes. I'm thinking the 15 mil f1.7 could be good. Or what lens are you rocking with the Panasonic GX9? So there you have it. That's my three core reasons why I'm picking this camera up more and more these days, getting out there and shooting more. So if you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.